once we have the patient on the table, we're going to elevate the table um, to a higher level to uh, easier to, uh, to put the ankle straps um, and uh, to maneuver the patient um, on the table. So right now I'm going to elevate the table up to the highest level where it's easier for me to work on. The next you'll use the ankle straps um, with the Velcro just by inserting or undoing there and bringing this around. Once we have the ankle straps um, secured, uh, we can also um, elongate the table, just stretching a little bit, just to make sure the table is tight there. The first step with, if we want to do any manual flexion, uh, we can insert the T-bar and tighten the knob by twisting and securing the handle uh, for our flexion, whether it be to manual flex the table or to lateral bend on the table also. Uh, the first thing to engage the manual flexion, I'm going to release the lever here upward and at that point in time I'm able to do my manual flexion by securing and taking the table flexing downward. I can also engage the lateral flexion by the lever here to Take, lateral bend, and flex. Or if I want to run auto flexion with our patient on the table, uh, we will engage the lever to the far to the, to the far left or to the head of the table and engage manual flexion um, with the minimum and maximum angles. I can dictate uh, how deep of the stroke I want, the flexion of the stroke. And all I would need to do then is just start the table. Now if I was to leave the room, we have the auto switch the uh, automatic stop switch um, here for the patient to uh, to push if she wanted to uh, stop the table uh, if you were to leave the room. To stop the table, I'm just going to hit the start stop switch here. I'm just going to bring that back at that point in time to disengage the, the table. I'm going to change the handle, locking handle, to the back end of the table. Then also at that point in time, if I want to do any with anything with the drop work, I would use it here to, uh, to work on the drops. Also, we have a feature of the auto set. Uh, the auto set is basically going to come back. We'll have the table locked in position. If I want to set the stroke manually to my auto flexion, I'm going to engage into manual flexion. I'm going to push the button auto set. I'm going to take the table manually down, lock, bring it up to there, lock. I'm going to engage the auto flexion and then start the table. I have now just set the stroke manually for my patient. To take the table from the lock position to engage into manual flexion, we're going to, um, the, the locking handle is going to be facing upward to release. At that point in time, I'm able to do uh, the manual flexion. If I want to start auto flexion, I'm going to take the locking handle and face it toward the front of the table. At that point in time, I'm going to engage uh, with the control box. At that point in time, I can change, <laughs> do my, uh, my angles, I can change my minimum angle, whether I'm going to take it up or down uh, at that point in time, or if I want to change my maximum angle, same thing. At that point in time, if I'm ready to uh, start my flexion, I'm going to start the start-stop switch, 
at that point in time it's going to start with the auto flexion.